country on every level. And we're spending all this money to benefit other countries. So the Republican Party has basically rebranded as America first, you know, based on the idea that our primary priority should be the people of our country. And you, I can't tell you how many Republican members of Congress or Republican journalists or pundits I've interviewed over the last two and a half years who say, we can't be financing the war in Ukraine because we don't have the money to be financing other countries' wars, nor should we be doing that. Our focus should be on our own country. And every single time, well before even October 7th, I would ask them, does that also apply to Israel? And they would kind of stammer and stutter and not want to say it. But now, you know, you say like you don't care about Israel, and I totally understand that. The problem, though, is, is that Israel has received far more aid from the United States than any other country by far over the last three to four decades. We pay for their military. We pay for every time there's a new war, we send them billions and billions of more on top of the $4 billion a year that Obama negotiated with Netanyahu. The Washington Post op-ed, the headline was, if you boycott Israel, we'll boycott you. Not Six months before that and six months after, by executive order, he required state employees to boycott the state of North Carolina and then the state of Indiana in protest of their bathroom bills that they enacted for, you know, if you, you have to use the bathroom of your biological choice. So not only are you allowed to boycott your own country and harm economically the citizens of other states, Andrew Cuomo actually ordered boycotts of American states while at the same time banning anybody from boycotting the state of Israel. It's a single country that has all kinds of special privileges and rights. And let me just tell you another thing. Did anyone say anything about this? Well, I was writing about it all the time, but few people cared. Finally, those cases got brought to the courts. And thankfully, courts have overwhelmingly, almost unanimously said, this is a grave violation of the First Amendment and are being struck down. So Ben Shapiro, uh, a good friend of yours, um, and a longtime political ally, um, Obviously, one of the main kind of unifying views of conservatives is that we shouldn't have jobs set aside for certain groups. Palantir announced that they were creating 180 new jobs that were available exclusively for Jewish students on campus who felt like they were being made uncomfortable. It was 180 jobs. No Christians could apply. No Muslims could apply. No atheists could apply. No black people, only for Jews. Ben Shapiro saw that and he went onto Twitter and above that Palantir announcement said something like, wow, this is fantastic. And then after his own followers spent the day saying, what do you mean? This is exactly the thing you're supposed to oppose. At the end of the day, he was kind of forced to say, yeah, you know what? Maybe it would be best if it were open to everybody. But then like, what's the point <laughs> of the announcement? He would never have commented. Obviously he was happy about that.